So many of you guys have probably dealt with warrant officers and noticed a common thing with them all, their temperament. And let me discuss the type of person a warrant officer is and temperament wise. Yeah, follow me. So nine times out of ten, you come across a warrant officer and they always seem like they're more reserved and more, I guess they laid back. Um, that tends to be the trait that I've noticed with most warrants. Most of us are more just laid back, technical professionals, as you know, but a lot of your warrants are just more, I keep saying the word laid back, like reserved. Now, within our cohort, within our group, I mean, we let loose. Um, and most warrants are pretty cool. I mean, especially like when they're around enlisted guys or even the officers, you know, you can compartmentalize, you know, how you are. But for the most part, most of the warrants, and I'm gonna say when the sig signal cyber side, um, even the deltas or the programmers, which a lot of programmers have a unique personality trait anyway, um, those guys are more stoic for the most part and more focused now let's say a trans warrant i mean transportation warrant or i don't know any of the other ones i mean they're more or less the same too because number one um as you've heard the unicorn phrase um they say warrants are unicorns because you don't see many of them but they do exist um a lot of times they're quiet because there's no one else to talk to you know, like they'll talk with the outside the cohort, but there's no one else to re really relate to. You know, the warrant officer world is its own world. I mean, a lot of your warrants kind of stay to themselves, pretty much are studying on their craft, um, trying to be more proficient in their craft and really challenging themselves. So hence the phrase, the lone wolf comes in. Yeah, they're the lone wolves. I mean, that's without a shot of a doubt like the lone wolves, pretty much travel all, all alone. Or if you want to take it more aggressively, they're like the tiger. Tigers are always by themselves versus the lions that are, you know, within a pride, you know? So they're more or less like the lone wolf or the tiger, you know, solitary, doing their own thing. Um, show up, disappear, show up, but the work is always done. Everything's already set. If you need them, they appear. <laughs> mystical beings you know and a lot of times they're not loud rambunctious um, when they do party they party very chill you know like I said when warrants get together and they hang with warrants it's a di totally different ball game I mean it's like it's on fraternity you know so I just want to talk on and touch on that whole thing because people see warrants as being different but temperament wise warrants are different I won't, nah, I'll, I'll do a video comparing the O-grade side. The O-grade side's a little bit different um, because you still have a lot of people with the same temperament, but since their position is different, they have to act differently. You know, more of the alpha mentality, even though they might be Sigma-ish, but as I digress, you know, so most of you warrants you meet are gonna be more laid back to themselves. And especially the higher up the warrant officer ranks you get, the more of unicornish as they become, um, the more reserved they'll be because, I mean, a CW5, that's like a full bird colonel, for example, like if there's no other full bird colonels around, like he's by himself or one star, if there's no other one stars around, like he's by himself. There's no one else in his league. So there's no one else for him to really associate with. And then at that level, you have to watch who you associate with unless you have like mine. Now with the warrants, a CW5 can hang with a CW2 with no problem. A general might not hang with a major like that. There might be a conflict of interest or even a full bird. A full bird might not hang with a major like that. Maybe Lieutenant Colonel, but but it differs. So um, I just wanna spit this one out to you guys, you know, especially I'm out here camping, you know, trying to enjoy the scene and you know, it's almost Labor Day, you know, so getting that last little bit in and uh, 
air so fresh. But until the next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay dangerous. Stay safe. Peace.